Have you ever stopped to consider the possibility that everything you've been taught about the nature of reality and consciousness might be, in a sense, an elaborate misconception? What if the material world, with all its physical laws and tangible entities, isn't the bedrock of existence, but rather a derivative of something far more profound and intangible? Welcome, my friends, to a journey through the looking glass of Bernardo Castrop's provocative exploration, where the solidity of materialism is questioned and the fabric of consciousness is pondered upon with the curiosity of a true skeptic. In this exploration, we're not just scratching the surface, we're diving deep into the rabbit hole of consciousness and reality. Bernardo Castrop's work stands as a bold challenge against the fortress of materialism, a cultural stronghold that has shaped our understanding of ourselves and the universe. Through his keen insights, Castrop doesn't merely invite us to question. He provides a comprehensive framework that paves the way for a radical rethinking of what it means to be conscious beings in a seemingly material world. Materialism, with its roots deeply entrenched in the scientific revolution, presents a universe of matter experiencing matter, where consciousness is but a fleeting anomaly emerging from the void of unconsciousness. This worldview, while offering a semblance of order, paradoxically strips the universe of inherent meaning, reducing the sacred dance of life to mere mechanical interactions. Kastrup, however, peels back the layers of this perspective revealing the absurdity of believing in a consciousness that magically springs from the non-conscious, a belief that leaves us grappling with the hard problem of consciousness without a lifeline in sight. Amidst this backdrop of existential quandary, the cultural and psychological implications of materialism cannot be overstated. It's a narrative that has led humanity down a path of disillusionment, where the pursuit of material gain overshadows the quest for deeper understanding and meaning. The emptiness felt in the marrow of our modern existence speaks volumes of the crisis at hand, a crisis of meaning where the very essence of our being is called into question. Kastrup's work emerges as a beacon of hope, challenging the status quo and inviting us to reconsider the fabric of our reality. At the heart of this challenge lies the mind-body problem, an ancient puzzle that materialism fails to solve satisfactorily. Kastrup navigates this conundrum with the grace of a philosopher-poet, proposing that rather than the brain giving rise to the mind, it is the mind that enfolds the brain. This perspective, backed by empirical evidence, offers a refreshing departure from the reductionist view illuminating the relationship between consciousness and physical existence in a new light. Building upon this foundation, Kastrup introduces us to the philosophy of idealism, a view where all reality is fundamentally mental. Unlike the stark objective universe materialism proposes, idealism suggests a universe alive with the essence of mind a tapestry woven from the threads of consciousness itself. This isn't a retreat into solipsism, but an acknowledgement of the interconnectedness of existence, where the separation between the observer and the observed is but an illusion. Through the use of metaphors, Kastrup makes accessible the intricate concepts that underpin his thesis. These metaphors serve as bridges, connecting the abstract realm of philosophical thought with the tangible experiences that define our existence. They allow us to grasp the notion of the universe as a manifestation of mind, a realm where the laws of physics are not mere descriptions of material interactions, but reflections of a deeper mental order. As we delve into the implications of this idealist framework, we uncover explanations for phenomena that materialism struggles to account for. From the division of mind into conscious and unconscious realms to the experience of mystical states, Kastrup's metaphors offer a coherent and compelling way of understanding the myriad ways in which reality reveals itself to us. 
They challenge us to see beyond the material facade, to recognize that what appears as separate and objective is intimately connected to the fabric of consciousness. This leads us to a profound reconsideration of the nature of reality itself. If reality is indeed a projection of mind, then the stark separation we perceive between ourselves and the world around us is called into question. This perspective opens up new avenues for understanding not just the universe, but our place within it, suggesting a more intimate relationship between the individual consciousness and the cosmic mind. Kastrup doesn't stop at theoretical musings. He anchors his arguments in empirical evidence and logical reasoning, challenging the materialist paradigm with the rigor of a scientist and the skepticism of a philosopher. This approach not only lends credibility to his claims, but also invites us, the audience, to engage with his ideas critically, to test them against our observations and experiences. In the penultimate chapters of his exploration, Kastrup ventures into the realm of speculation, offering insights into the afterlife, psychic phenomena, and other esoteric subjects. While these ideas may stretch the boundaries of conventional scientific discourse, they are presented with the same logical coherence and empirical scrutiny that characterize the rest of his work, inviting us to consider the possibilities that lie beyond the materialist horizon. As we draw to a close on this journey, it becomes clear that Kastrup's challenge to materialism is more than an intellectual exercise. It's a call to rediscover the meaning and sacredness inherent in our experience of life. In a world dominated by materialist dogma, his alternative worldview offers a refreshing and profoundly positive vision, one that places us at the very heart of a universe seeking to understand itself through us. I invite you to ponder the implications of Kastrup's ideas. What if the sense of alienation and emptiness that plagues our modern psyche is but a symptom of a worldview out of alignment with the deeper reality of consciousness? What if, by embracing the idealist perspective, we could rediscover a sense of connection and meaning that transcends the material? In a culture quick to dismiss anything beyond the physical as mere woo-woo, Kastrup's work stands as a testament to the power of questioning, to the possibility of a reality richer and more mysterious than we've dared to imagine. Thank you, my friends, for joining me on this exploration. Your curiosity and openness to new ideas are what make these journeys so rewarding. As we continue to navigate the complexities of existence, may we do so with the courage to question, the openness to explore, and the wisdom to recognize the profound interconnectedness of all things. Until next time, take care and keep pondering the mysteries of the universe.